I didn't want people to be deceived into thinking that if someone believes something that's off, like they might come to a different conclusion later, they might go through some things. And so I, I've always found that. And somebody, some of you are listening, you're gonna fight me for this, right? Bruce Lawn. There's a healthy degree of, especially at least in our Christian YouTube community where we kind of hold different positions on things. Yeah, let's talk about that. But we're all friends. Yeah, yeah, We're yes, all friends yes. and I, and we don't kind of look down or, or, no. or, or judge. No. It's like, man, like, if someone believes something that's off, like they might come to a different conclusion later, they might go through some things. And so I, I've always found that really interesting, very, very refreshing, but we all know it's not like that for everyone online. Oh, and man. you being someone that went to Dallas Theological Seminary, yeah. sometimes there's these expectations of you to, Alan got the right theology, Alan's, right, Alan's solid, his mm -hmm. theology, like the, you hear these things, <laughs> yeah. but then if you don't go as hard against Right, someone that's deemed a false teacher right. by the Reformed community. Right, you, you're not a, quite a heretic, but you're you didn't like stick up for us the way yeah, we thought you were going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So, like, talk about that. Like, how has that been in terms of you navigating some of these things? Because you haven't came out and been like, you know, fill in a blank. Whoever, uh, uh, Mike Todd, he's a false teacher. Like, you right. haven't said these types of things. Right. And so, like, from one standpoint, I think that opens a bridge to people to receive what you have to say. Right. But from another standpoint, from the Calvinist standpoint, it it makes you look soft yeah. i don't, I don't yeah. understand what the logic is yeah but yeah you, you know so one of the best pieces of advice that i ever got was from um, a friend of mine who is straight up reformed mm -hmm. uh todd friel from wretched wretched radio yeah, yeah. wretched yeah, TV. yeah i watched todd yeah yeah good guy i love the guy really good friend of mine and um and so one of the things that he said he was like you know what every bible teacher that you listen to or that you know the christian youtuber or whatever mm -hmm should probably be in one of three categories, mm -hmm. right? You have um, recommended, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you have uh, false teacher, mm -hmm. and then you have not recommended, right? Okay. And when he wrote that down, I was like, that's perfect, because I don't think we have a category mm. that that we can just be comfortable, that middle category of not recommended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for some reason, that just doesn't exist in the body of Christ. It's like yeah. either this person is recommended or yeah. they're a false teacher, Yeah. right? Yeah. It's like, okay, no, there's got to be something in between, right? So mm -hmm. for instance, perfect example, um, you know, I mean, if I'm going to throw out some names, you know, I'll probably, I, and I, well, let me be careful with that because even someone like Joel Osteen, mm -hmm. I don't agree with prosperity theology. I wish that he would challenge people in mm -hmm. the areas of sin. I wish he wouldn't preach a cotton candy gospel. I wish that if I actually went to his church, I'd be challenged mm -hmm. in areas of purity, holiness, mm -hmm. and, and sanctification, and all that stuff. But I'm going to be honest. And somebody, some of you are listening, you're going to fight me for this, right? But I'm going to be honest. If I go to his, if, if I go to his website, mm -hmm. And he adheres to all of the non-negotiable tenant yep. core beliefs of the Christian faith, yep. the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the inerrancy of Scripture, the deity of Christ, mm -hmm. all these different things, right? Uh, the Trinity and all mm -hmm. that stuff. It's hard for me to label him as a false teacher mm -hmm. when he is saying, this is how you can be saved. You need to be saved. Mm -hmm. And we want to be a church who's going to help you become saved, right? Now, what can I do? And this is where I've ca caught flack, is instead of me going around naming a whole bunch of people and saying they're false teacher, they're mm -hmm. false teacher, they're false teacher, I tend, I would rather focus on the teachings. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather look at the individual teachings of Joyce Meyer. I'd rather look at Bishop Jake's teaching. I'd mm -hmm. rather look at uh, 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 these different people and say, you know what, because of the fact that he teaches a cotton candy gospel mm -hmm. because he preaches prosperity and health and wealth and and, and name it claim and positive confession and all this stuff, mm -hmm. then these teachings by Joel Osteen or Bishop Jakes, these are false teachings. Mm -hmm. And therefore I put them in the category of not recommended. Mm -hmm. If I'm giving advice to a new Christian and they're asking me, who are the people that you would recommend I listen to? I would not put these people in that category. Right, right. Right. Um, and, and that's where I kind of differ, but does that mean that I can't have fellowship with these people? Mm -hmm. Does that mean that I, you know, and that's where I see the, the toxicity yeah. online, particularly in the space that yeah, yeah. we operate yeah, in. It's yeah. like, if we don't, agree, if I don't agree with Ruslan, he's a false teacher. Mm -hmm. If I don't agree with Alan Parr, he's a false teacher. If I don't mm -hmm. agree with John yeah. McRae, he's a false teacher. It's like, no, you just disagree with me, yep. but yep. don't dis, don't disparage 
don't discredit my entire ministry mm -hmm. because I teach the perseverance of the saints, yep, right? Yep, and yep, it's yep. like, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And Crazy. I think even in the way you've, I've watched your videos, I think I've seen you do a video on Olstein. Yep, yep. And even in the I, way you, get them all. <laughs> you, you frame them as you go, well, should you listen to someone that teaches X, Y, and Z? Right. Here's what they teach. You have to come to that conclusion yes, on your exactly. own. exactly. Right? And I think that's, that's, that's an empowering position instead of, attempting to mark everyone as heretic or recommended. That third category, I think, is an important one. <laughs> There's a lot of people yeah. to fit in there. Yeah, because I think, the, and and no one has 100% perfect theology. Right. Everyone's going to change on some things. Everyone's going to soften on some things. But I think you you doing that, I think, has been a, a service to folks there. And you've also been flexible and you've changed your mind on stuff, or seemingly changed your mind on stuff, where um, Justin... I don't remember his last name. Peters? Uh, no, the Seventh Day Adventist gentleman. Oh yeah, Justin Coe. Coe, Coe, yeah, Coe, Coe, yeah. 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 So like, I've, I remember you mm -hmm. made some videos about Seventh Day, and then you were kind of like, ah. Yep. He, some folks reached out to me saying this stuff was accurate and go harder. Yeah. And then he reached out to me and was like, hey, like we don't really adhere to this stuff. And then you guys had him on, and you guys went over, and you yep. you just strongly disagreed on yes. on on the Sabbath, right? Yeah. And, and all that all that kind of stuff, but. Was it fair to say you kind of changed your mind or softened your position on that? Well, actually, I think actually the opposite direction. Uh, the first video that I did on Seventh Day Adventists, I basically presented it as if, you know what? Yeah, they're pretty much the same mm -hmm. as Christians, except they adhere to the Sabbath and mm -hmm. they, you know, have some dietary things and things like that. But for the most part, yep. you know, they're the same, right? Right. And that's because I did not do enough research uh -huh. into their d theology, their doctrine, and uh -huh. things like that to uh -huh. see, nah, there's a whole a there, bunch yeah. of things that are there that right. are very different. Right. Um, and so when I realized that, people reached out to me. Right. I remember that. Uh, yeah. I was like, okay, um, you know what? I need to do a follow-up video. And I actually ended up taking that video down. The follow-up video down or the first the video? The first video first I took video. down because I didn't want that video I didn't want people to be deceived into thinking that Seventh Day Adventism is just another um, is just another denomination of Christianity that simply decides mm -hmm. to observe the Sabbath, and but other than that, everything is the same. Right. And I realized I was like, no, they they have some very different views on prophecy. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, the place of prophecy in 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 Scripture. We won't get into all that stuff, but. Um, yeah, I had to change my perspective. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the full extended version of this podcast, be sure to sign up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month. It'll really help us continue contextualizing the gospel using YouTube, media, and podcasting. And in exchange, you will get full unedited versions of the podcast, of our daily after-party streams, a discount for our merch store, and exclusive access to our private Discord server. It's only $5 a month. The link for Patreon is in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment below. If you're feeling like, yeah, I don't think I want to sign up for $5 a month, that's okay. We also have links in the description of this video where you can make a one-time contribution on Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. But, but we really want to get you over on Patreon. So again, hit the link in the description, sign up now, and I'll see you over there, all right? Peace. And it said that Simeon blessed God.